So guys, this is new tutorial series on app designing in MATLAB and graphical user interface in MATLAB. So here we are going to learn how to design GUIs and apps using MATLAB platform. So in order to do that, first of all, we supposed to open MATLAB app designer. And in order to do that, you supposed to write here app designer. And there we go. This is how MATLAB app designer looks like. So first we'll get complete idea about what each section meant for, right? So let's start with the first section. So this is our first section and this is known as component library. This component library in MATLAB app designer, it's a collection of user interface components that you can use to design your apps layout and functionality. These components provides the building block for creating interactive applications with graphical user interface. You can directly drag the component from component library and drop it on this canvas. There are varieties of component you just can directly drag and drop them on canvas. And we will explore it more when we will start making applications. Right. So with this now the next important section is this design view on which we have placed this components. So the design view is the workspace where you can create and lay out the user interface of your app. It provides us a visual interface for adding, arranging and configuring UI components without writing a code. And that is really important. As we have seen earlier, you can directly drag and drop component on this design view or on this canvas. So we can say that this is the area where we does the GUI things. So now let's move to the next section. But before moving ahead, there is a quick short question for you. So now you're supposed to tell me from where we can get the components to place on this canvas. Quickly write the answer in comments and then we'll move ahead. Think and tell me from where we get these components to place on this canvas. Quickly write the answer in comments, right? And now it's time to move ahead. So the next section is code view. Here you can see this section. If you click this section, the design view will be switched into code view. The code view in MATLAB app designer is a place where you can write and edit MATLAB code. This defines the behavior and logic of your app. Basically, this view complements the design view. This will allow you to program the functionality behind the user interface components that we have added. So we are not going to discuss deep about this because we are going to explore it when we are making applications, right? So this is just an overview video. So we are discussing about this in very short. So after this code view, next another important section is component browser. This one, the component browser in MATLAB app designer is a tool that helps you to manage and organize the components within your app. It provides a hierarchical view of all UI components and that makes it easier to navigate, select and modify them. Basically, it displays a tree-like structure of all the components of our app. And yeah, one important thing you're supposed to note here is all the components here are listed into the order that we have added them. We have added this box in the last, so it comes over here in the last. Let me show you if we remove this, this and this one also. And now we'll add this text box first. So you can find this up here first and then we are going to add this button. So this will be available under this edit field. But how this under and above can affect this app making that we'll see in our upcoming app making tutorials. The next section is just below this component browser and that is field properties or component properties. It shows the properties of whatever component we have selected. If you select this component, it will show you the property of this component. If you change the component, it will show you the property of that component. Basically, this section refers to the attributes and settings that defines the appearance, behavior and functionality of the UI components that we use in our app. Basically, you just see here, if you click this, this button will switch like this. If you make it like this, so like this way, you can change the attributes. 
from here you can change the font style font size bold italic you can change the font color whatever you want to do you can change it from here you can even change the background color right let's write here subscribe so we have written subscribe so by pressing this button you can subscribe to this channel right so what are you waiting for just go and click to the subscribe button below your video by doing that not only you are keep in connection with me but you are supporting my work so ultimately you are motivating me to make more videos like this right so just hit that subscribe button so with this now let's move ahead the next thing here is this callbacks these callbacks are the functions that are executed in response to the specific user interaction or events with ui components and what kind of interaction we are talking about this can be actions such as pressing a button that we have just talked about the subscribe button then moving a slider selecting an item from drop down menu and many more so basically this callbacks allows you to define a behavior of your app and makes it more interactive so this can make your app interactive but now let's make this video interactive okay so now you tell me if you want to set some logical arrangement mm, like if i press a button then learning vibes should be displayed then what do you use for this this callback section or this configuration section quickly write your answer in comments and then we'll move ahead don't skip writing the answer right just write the answer and then we'll move ahead now the next section in this app designer is on top left corner this designer tab in this designer tab first we have this file section using this file section by clicking this new we can create new app file by using this open you can use your previously made files and by this you can save your existing file now this section is pretty much interesting share by clicking this app details you can name your app give summary of your app and give description to your app and by clicking here you can select a custom thumbnail for your app and then just press okay and there you go now the next one is package app this package app is used to create a matlab app package that can be easily shared and installed within the matlab this is suitable for sharing apps with other matlab users who can install and run the app directly within matlab and the next section to this deploy app this deploy app is used to create standalone applications or web apps that can be run independently of matlab so ultimately it is used to generate an executable file that can be run on system without matlab and this is so obvious it is to run whatever app you have created after this the next tab is this canvas tab this tab has everything to do with this canvas if you have two components over here then using this section you can align them to gather in different manner right now the next section is to arrange them you can group them and you can ungroup them from here if you have multiple objects and if you want to distribute them evenly or by some other means right that you can achieve from here this space section and this is the view section by clicking this show grid you will be having this type of grid in background you can change the interval of grid from here this snap grid will helps in snapping on particular section if you just unclick this snap grid it won't snap you can move it smoothly but if you turn it on it will just snap to the next point now just unclick it even unclick this also now this is show alignment hints when both the objects are center aligned it will show alignment hint if you align them like this so these are the different hints that you can get for alignment after this if you resize this right now it won't show anything when you click here and then you resize this it will show you the measurement right so this will be useful for that so that's all from the very first video of app designing in matlab or gui in matlab in next video we are going to learn app making in app designer so see you into the next video of this series